If we eliminate the lines, the most entrancing star I accept is the star that could be dazzling in our sky. It is this one, bug press or scarab squeeze. It's a red beast star, and on the remote possibility that you put it where the sun is, it would connect with the circle of Jupiter. It's huge, very unpredictable, and going to explode. It's not as clear as it appears to be in the universe. These giant occasions, like the most ridiculously feared colossal starbursts, could shake all that we see, furthermore, don't see. It's middle, anyway, Betelgeuse has been seen as a sign, a red very beast star that is many times more noteworthy than our sun. Brian Cox and other space specialists think it could go supernova whenever. Individuals are generally terrified of what will occur, since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking shocking photographs of the star. When exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how colossal an effect will it have on Earth? Let us sort out a star in the heavenly body Orion that shines so brightly that even individuals from quite some time ago have seen it. The remarkable star Scarab Juice is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation Orion. Scarab Juice is the second largest star in the constellation. Its name comes from this feature, the monster shoulder. It is quite possibly one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. On top of being extraordinarily bright, the star is also an odd shade of red which, as we will see, suggests trouble. We've had some huge familiarity with bug juice for a long time. A Greek analyst named TMY also focused on it around that time. The main thing people acknowledged about stars was their color. TMY said that frightening little animal juice was an orange color. Scientists have been studying the star much more closely of late, and now they have a brilliant idea of what makes it so curiously bright. One of these qualities is that the star changes brightness a lot, with an apparent magnitude of 0.6. Bug juice is a variable star, which means that its brilliance changes over time. Anyway, lately, experts have found some new information about the star. In 2019, analysts first saw that insect juice was acting peculiarly. Despite the way that scarab juice didn't totally stop shining, it wasn't the same. It had become significantly less bright, shining at an extent of around 1.6. Analysts quickly began to explore why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star above in this unconventional way. Analysts had to make a surprising statement based on their research, which uncovered strange signs from the star. According to their findings, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a renowned scientist, shared this incredibly dangerous statement. As a prominent professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Astronomy, you shouldn't take his opinion as a joke. He also has a science show, writes many popular science books, and is the Royal Society Professor for Public Engagement with Science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse looks like a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off without warning. To worsen the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a colossal amount of evidence to back up this statement. Anyway, what peculiar signs has Scarab Juice given that have caused so much difficulty in space science? With the new information about bug juice, the star has been named as a supernova candidate. However, scientists are still unsure when it will explode. The fact that frightening little animal juice is nearly twice the mass of the sun is one explanation for this classification. A star, in a manner of speaking, ought to be multiple times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get really interesting, however, because analysts have used numerous gadgets to explore scarab juice, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to observe what's happening in space around Scarab Juice. What they found is still a mystery. It was born on August 31st quite a while ago. Around that time, the star Beetle Juice apparently gave abnormal signs that made its future unclear. What did they find? Well, they could get curious light waves coming from the star or over Scarab Juice, which is very peculiar but it wasn't the only thing experts saw from the star. This brings us back to the possibility that Scarab Juice is a star whose brilliance changes now and then. It was said that frightening little animal juice dimmed down at regular intervals and had dark spots, much like our sun. Today, however, the circumstances are different. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another unusual sign that Scarab Juice is back. Scientists found that the star's dimming cycle had hit a V-band brightness of plus 1.61 in February 2021. This was not long after the huge dimming event. 
Recall how the star seemed to reduce in an unusual way in 2019. That's because it's commonly known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the incredible darkening was the start of Betelgeuse's strange behavior, which made many people worry that Betelgeuse was going to explode. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the lowest level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, experts were certain that creepy crawly juice would go supernova in the next 100,000 years due to the exceptional dimming. There is a section occurring in the universe, so this is truly frightening. Scientists quickly altered their perspectives, however, when they saw what happened next. Bug juice got brighter again after the incredible dimming, and it transformed into something even more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% brighter than normal, making it the seventh brightest star overhead right now. Scientists were scared when they saw a red glow in the southern portion of the sky. Today, it still gets more intriguing because this has led to a variety of thoughts about what caused the great dimming. First, it's essential to note that not all stars have the red shimmer of Betelgeuse. The red shimmer of Betelgeuse means that it's a red supergiant star, which is the last stage of a star's life and death. The red glow, on the other hand, is caused by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is much cooler than the outer layer of the sun, which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area. Notwithstanding the fact that it is greater, it will explode. Now we should examine what the great dimming looked like. Brian Cox asks, does it mean that bug juice is going to go supernova? Actually, the fact that scarab juice is a red supergiant already demonstrates that it is almost done with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also often dim over time, which is something that scientists choose. All things being equal, Bug Juice's new surprising behavior has made experts even more focused. Furthermore, many telescopes are now focusing on the great dimming. Still, things get even more interesting since experts still don't have a deep understanding of Betelgeuse. Scientists are now using the most cutting-edge tools to keep an eye on the captivating things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best tool scientists have used so far. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has helped scientists gain a lot of useful knowledge about scarab juice. The new pictures of Betelgeuse's remarkable dimming, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a massive mass ejection. Based on new research, we now know that this mass ejection was about 400 billion times greater than a regular coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Consequently, scientists are excited about what the telescope will find. Scientists have seen dust clouds forming on the star surface that appear to look like leaves in space. That doesn't make sense. Regardless of the way that Betelgeuse will die, scientists are still watching out for it since they don't know when it will go supernova. Scientists believe that scarab juice is many times greater than the sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we look at the many strange things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this statement will still be valid after the unprecedented dimming. So, experts don't think Betelgeuse will explode anytime soon. If Betelgeuse detonates, it will be the first supernova we observed for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Experts also don't want this to happen soon because they are still looking out for the star's abnormal behavior. Despite the way that scientists are sure that Betelgeuse will go supernova, when exactly it will happen remains a mystery. If we break down the universe without bias, one of the most enchanting stars, and maybe the most astounding in our sky is Scarab Juice, often referred to as Betelgeuse. This red beast star, if placed where the sun is, would stretch out to Jupiter's orbit. This amazingly massive, unstable star is on the edge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such direct terms. Fabulous events like the feared starbursts could drastically change everything we see. Betelgeuse has given intriguing indications. A red supergiant star that is many times the size of our sun. Cosmologists, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the consequences of this event, especially since the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered disturbing images of the star. So, when precisely will? Betelgeuse become a supernova, 
and what impact will it have on Earth? It wasn't the same as before. It had become significantly dimmer, shining at an extent of around 1.6. Scientists immediately began to explore why the tenth most brilliant star overhead was showing such curious conduct. They had to make a surprising statement based on their research, which revealed strange signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a prestigious physicist, shared this disturbing data. As a respected professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester, Cox's insights carry significant weight in the academic community. He has written several popular science books and has a science show, making him a prominent figure in public engagement with science. He compared Betelgeuse to a ticking delayed bomb, stressing that it could detonate at any moment. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided extensive proof to support this statement, capturing stunning images that highlight the star's instability. Scientists have been particularly fascinated by Betelgeuse's unusual light patterns. For years, astronomers have observed its changes, but later studies suggest that these changes are becoming more pronounced. The star's brightness has shown quick fluctuations, suggesting it could be entering a critical phase of its life cycle. This inconsistency raises questions about the processes occurring inside the star and what they might mean for its future. In 2019, after a remarkable dimming event, Scarab Juice's brightness plunged to an all-time low, causing concern among space experts. This phenomenon, referred to as the Great Dimming, led many to speculate that the star was approaching the end of its life. Scientists observed that Scarab Juice is more than twice the mass of our sun, a significant factor in determining its fate. A star of this size typically undergoes dramatic changes before going supernova. Recent observations have shown that Betelgeuse is now 150% brighter than expected, making it the seventh brightest star in our sky. This sudden increase in brightness has prompted various hypotheses regarding its behavior. Some scientists believe it might be a precursor to the star's eventual explosion, while others suggest that environmental factors such as dust clouds or changes in surface temperature could be affecting its radiance. The James Webb Space Telescope has become a key tool in this research. With its advanced capabilities, it can detect light frequencies that are invisible to the naked eye, providing further insights into the star's activity. For example, the telescope has detected dust clouds forming on Scarab Juice's surface, which appear to resemble leaves in space. Despite the star's impending death, scientists remain captivated by these discoveries and are eager to learn more as Betelgeuse continues to exhibit erratic behavior. Researchers continue to monitor Betelgeuse closely, hoping to uncover its secrets before any explosive conclusion. As we explore the universe, Scarab Juice serves as a fascinating reminder of the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of stars. It captures the imagination not only of scientists, but also of anyone curious about the cosmos. Ongoing research on this enigmatic star underscores the importance of technological advancements, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, which allow us to probe deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Ultimately, the story of Scarab Juice is still unfolding, and as scientists gather more data, we can expect a deeper understanding of its life cycle and what it reveals about the stars around us. Each new observation brings us closer to understanding when or if Betelgeuse will become a supernova and what that event will mean for our planet. As scientists continue to study Betelgeuse, it's clear that this star has the potential to reshape our understanding of stellar life cycles, particularly those of red supergiants. These stars are in the final stages of their existence, and Betelgeuse offers a front row seat to the dramatic processes that occur before a supernova event. While Betelgeuse has long been an object of fascination, recent observations have added new layers of complexity to its behavior. What once appeared to be a simple case of a variable star, whose brightness fluctuates over time, is now a subject of intense scrutiny due to its erratic dimming, brightening, and potential mass ejections. The idea of a supernova, in which a star undergoes a violent explosion at the end of its life, is already a remarkable phenomenon. However, Betelgeuse could offer scientists even more than that. If it were to explode within the next few decades, it would be the closest supernova observed in modern times, offering an unprecedented opportunity to study such an event in real time. 
This would be particularly significant for researchers studying the remnants of exploded stars and how they impact their surrounding environments. Astronomers believe that such supernovae can trigger the formation of new stars and planets, releasing heavy elements that are crucial for life as we know it. Interestingly, the study of red supergiants like Betelgeuse also reveals information about the star formation process. These stars are often the progenitors of heavy elements like iron and nickel, which are dispersed into space when the star explodes. Over billions of years, these elements become part of the interstellar medium, eventually contributing to the formation of new stars, planets, and even life forms. Understanding how red supergiants behave as they near the end of their lives helps scientists build a better model of how the universe has evolved and how it continues to change. As our technology improves, we gain more insight into these far-off stellar events. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its ability to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, is especially suited to studying stars like Betelgeuse. The infrared range allows scientists to peer through the dust clouds that obscure the view of some cosmic phenomena. This is especially important for studying stars that are in the late stages of their life cycle, as they often produce significant amounts of dust that can obscure visible light. The telescope has already captured incredibly detailed images of Betelgeuse's dimming and brightening cycles, offering a clearer view of its behavior than ever before. Despite all the attention Betelgeuse is receiving, it is not the only star in the universe that's nearing the end of its life. There are many others out there, some even more massive than Betelgeuse that could potentially undergo supernova explosions. However, what makes Betelgeuse so intriguing is its proximity to Earth. As one of the brightest stars in our night sky, it offers an unprecedented chance to study the final stages of a star's life before it explodes. Whether or not Betelgeuse's eventual explosion will have any direct effect on Earth is still up for debate, but its impact on the scientific community is undeniable. As we wait for answers, the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse only continue to grow. Each observation adds to our understanding of the complex and awe-inspiring processes that govern the life and death of stars. Scientists are keeping a close watch on this enigmatic star, knowing that its eventual fate may one day shed light on the workings of the universe and how we fit into the larger cosmic picture.